in this present situation right now it is commonly dominant strain in UK United Kingdom so this COVID variant which is called as Delta COVID variant forced the UK to get into the lockdown so what is this Delta COVID variant how it is originated in our country each and everything will be explained in detail in this video so watch this video till the end and if you like this video subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates so let us get into this Delta COVID variant in detail so researchers and developers of virology department they scientifically termed this Delta variant as B16172 of the COVID-19 infections so how it is formed how it is originated it is formed by the merging of two mutations of a virus strain so there are two mutants they are E484Q and L452R so these are the two double mutants and these double mutants are merged with each other or combined with each other or fused with each other in order to form a triple mutant and the triple mutant is scientifically termed as B1617 and in this B1617 category it is divided into three lineages right so this B1617 is a variant itself which was in India or country India and it is further divided into three lineages among these lineages B1617.2 is the one which is detected in our country firstly right so B1617 one B1617 two B1617 three so these are the three lineages which was divided under the category of B1617 variant which is a triple mutant and how this triple mutant is formed it is formed by the merging of two mutations which I have said you so this B1617.2 this is nomenclature commonly as Delta variant and B1617.1 this is nomenclature as Kappa virus K A P P A Kappa virus and B1617.3 so this is not nomenclature commonly yet and it is it will be nomenclature further so this B1617.2 which has been nomenclature as Delta variant will break into the human immune system and will invade the organs definitely because as I have said you this is a triple mutant right as this is a triple mutant it is not a double mutant listen properly it is a triple mutant so once it will enter into the human system in the form of harmful antigens then immediately your immune system will start responding to it but as it is a triple mutant your natural immune system cannot cannot respond to it because it is a triple mutant which is very very dangerous so as it is very dangerous it can enter into your organs and it starts killing the tissues right so the first case of this mutation in our country was identified and it is identified in the state of Maharashtra on October 5th 2020 which is previous year right and the name of this Delta variant was nomenclature or as it is termed by WHO which is World Health Organization under a new naming system which was introduced recently on 31st May 2021 so there is an organization which is called as INSECOG this INSECOG is the forum which has been set up under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare by the Indian government so this organization is comprising of 10 labs in our country itself in different states so the list of these 10 labs has been given here so what will happen in this uh, 10 labs these 10 labs the research and developers what they do is that they will find whether there are any new mutants or as new variants which has been emerged or originated in our country or not so this is the work which will be done by these lab technicians in these 10 labs so only these 10 top labs will come under this INSECOG organization or as a committee right so these are the list of the laboratories which comes under the organization of INSECOG so what is the work which will be done by these laboratories so what they do is that they will try to procure the samples and those samples belong to the candidate who are symptomatic with this Delta variants so they will try to procure those samples for example if you see here NCDC Delhi they procured 14 samples of from that patients who are symptomatic 
and from that 14 samples they have detected 8 samples which contains the variant of delta which is delta variant similarly nibg kalyani which is located near kolkata seven samples has been procured and only one was detected of this delta variant and nib pune 50 samples has been procured and one was detected dbt pune so zero samples has been procured and similarly zero has been detected so nim hans so nimhans so 15 has been procured and only seven has been detected as this delta variant so in this way all of these laboratories they have procured the samples of these patients who are symptomatic and they will try to detect uh, whether that patient is affected with this new mutant which is delta variant or not so in this way from the 107 total samples which they have been procured only 20 has been detected with this delta variant so this is the samples which has been uh, processed on the date of 29th December 2020 which is previous year. So this is the data which has been collected from pibgovernment.in. So the website has been given over here and you can check it out. So more than 90% of COVID cases in the UK are registered under the coronavirus which was first variant which was firstly discovered in our country itself which is India. So there is an article which was published by the UK government recently. So they are warning their people in order to be protected from this delta variant. Because 90% of covid cases has been registered under this delta variant itself which has been passed from the country of India. So research and developers what they believed is that this delta variant which is being spread over in this country, in this country in the sense UK. It is believed to spread more easily than the alpha variant. So what is this alpha variant? Alpha variant in the sense what previously UK has been struggled with the variant of coronavirus is variant and it is scientifically called as B117. But now as the mutation has been changed, hence it led to delta variant and now people are suffering with delta variant in their country so uh, alpha variant is uh, you know is a previous variant which uk country has been suffered and it was firstly detected in the country of kent and it is one of the country in south eastern england so uh, what uk government uh, wants people is to be protected from this delta variant which became pandemic in their country right now so this article has been and the link and the link of the, or the source has been provided for you so you can check it out how effective are covid vaccines against the delta variant so you people may get a doubt that how effective are these covid vaccines how these covid vaccines will work whether uh, they work or not in order to kill this delta variant in our body so i am going to clear your doubt so listen properly so in order to clarify the doubt study has been conducted by teams of experts from the aims igib IGIB in the sense Institute of Genomics and Integrative Biology. So they have procured 63 individuals who are symptomatic with this Delta variant. And with these 63 individuals, they have divided their study into two categories, number of dosages and vaccine name. Procured have procured the 63 individuals and it was came to know that among the 63 individuals, only 36 individuals have took two doses of vaccine and remaining 27 individuals have took only one dose of vaccine and coming to the second category of vaccine name these 63 individuals among the 63 individuals only 10 individuals have took have have been vaccinated with this covid shield vaccine and remaining 53 individuals among these 63 has been vaccinated with this covaxin vaccine right so this is the study which was conducted by aims igib which is Institute of Genomics and Integrative Biology. So by this we can understand that even though the person is vaccinated with this which is available in the market, they will be infected with this variant, which is Delta variant. So there is another good news. So there is a study which was conducted by Public Health England. So what is the study which was conducted by them are introduced a new vaccine called as Pfizer. And along with the Pfizer, another vaccine has been introduced, which is AstraZeneca. So both of these uh, vaccines are highly effective against the COVID-19 Delta variant. So this is what they have been published. So Public Health England has done a study with these two vaccines. And they finally came to know that these vaccines will be highly effective 
and will work in order to cure this delta variant and it was also came to know that pfizer vaccine will work 88% effective in order to kill the delta variant whereas astrazeneca vaccine will work only 60% effectively in order to kill the disease i mean which is caused by the delta variant so this is a study and this is the paper which was submitted which was published to the public by public health england so this variant this delta variant is considered as variant of concern so what is mean by this variant of concern actually not only this variant of concern there will be another there will be another variant of interest right so this delta variant is considered as variant of concern which is voc so basically there will be two variants like let's say variant of concern and variant of interest so variant of concern in the sense uh, that particular strain which has been emerged it is highly transmissible and could potentially lead to increased hospitalizations and more strain on healthcare resources and ultimately leads to more death so that is the meaning of the variant of concern and i have said you another one right it is variant of interest so it is nothing but a uh, where variant of interest i mean that particular strain will comes under the variant of interest once there is unique outbreak clusters but this strain of uh, which is said to be as delta strain will comes under the variant of concerns because it is highly harmful and dangerous because it will lead to uh, more deaths right hence it is considered as variant of concerns so what are the symptoms of this new variant which is delta variant so basically there will be gastrointestinal issues so some of the symptoms uh, which i have collected from various sources are as follows coming to the first one nausea as we all of us know that right nausea is a you know there will be certain type of discomfort which you can feel in the stomach and there will be sensation of vomiting also so that is called as nausea coming to the second one diarrhea so diarrhea is nothing but it is like a type of loose motion and watery stools which will be frequently need to have a bowel movement and coming to the abdominal pain this is the third symptom which you can see and loss of appetite and coming to the next symptom which is gangrene so this gangrene is a death of body tissue which you can see as if you can see in the picture so this is called as gangrene coming to the next symptom which is blood clotting so basically these are the symptoms which you can see in a person who is uh, even though little symptomatic also they can be seen with this type of symptoms so this is the information which i have collected uh, from various sources and even i have given the